Hey everyone, it's Sunday, so that means it's time for story time. Um, I have with me today a very, very cool lizard. We have a Cuban false chameleon. Now, as the name implies, he's from Cuba, and also as implies, he's not really a chameleon. He is part of the anole family. So if you've been down south in like Florida, you've seen anoles running all over the place. There's uh, Bahama anoles, which are the big brown ones, and then there's the Carolina anole, which is the green one. Uh, he is part of that family, but they started calling him a false chameleon because of his head shape and his eyes look very, very similar to a chameleon. Now, they do share some personality traits with chameleons, as in they can change their colors just a little bit, but that's actually a trait relative to a lot of different reptiles. Uh, depending on temperature or depending on mood, a lot of reptiles can actually change shades of their skin tone. So they can go from grays and blacks to browns and even different shades of green. And the Cuban false chameleon is no different. Now, this guy is really cool um, because Cuba is not, not like the biggest island there is, but there's a lot of diversity in the animals that we find there. And the Cuban false chameleon is only found in the western part of Cuba. And they live in like kind of the transitionary area between dry forest and upland wetter forest. So these guys are known for usually just perching themselves in trees all day long. Um, and they're also classified as a lounge lizard because they spend a lot of their time literally just sitting around. Wild observations have shown, oh, what are you looking at? Uh, wild observations have shown that they are inactive 60 to 70% of the time that they're awake. So they're literally just waiting around, but if they make themselves active, they become prone to predation. So the more they're moving around, the more animals can see them and then they could be eaten. By sitting still and blending in with tree bark and lichens and mosses, they don't have to worry about anything. And then that can allow them to be a sit and wait predator. So they can be an ambush predator. They'll wait for insects to come to them, but they're also very, very fast. They can jump uh, large areas and they can climb extremely well. So these things allow them to be really good hunters with no problem at all. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll get started on our story. Um, the story we got today is a color of his own, um, a story about a chameleon, but I don't have any chameleons in the store right now. We sold them all. So I figured the Cuban false chameleon is the next best thing. And he just jumped on my phone and he's trying to get in front of the camera. So let's go ahead and get him back in focus and we'll get our story started. So. A Color of His Own by Leo Liani with a Cuban False Chameleon. If I can get the pages flipped. There we go. Parrots are green, goldfish are red. Elephants are gray, pigs are pink. All animals have a color of their own. Except for chameleons. They change color wherever they go. On lemons, they are yellow. In the heather, they are purple. And on the tiger, they are striped like tigers. One day, a chameleon who was sitting on a tiger's tail said to himself, if I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever, and so I too will have a color of my own. With this, he thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf. But in autumn, the leaf turned yellow, and so did the chameleon. Later, the leaf turned red, and the chameleon turned red too. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch, and with it, the chameleon. The chameleon was black in the long winter night. But when spring came, he walked into the green grass and there he met another chameleon. He told his sad story. Won't we ever have a color of our own, he asked. Our little guy was trying to get away. I'm not afraid, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be alike. And so they remained side by side. They were green together. And purple and yellow.
and red with white polka dots, and they lived happily ever after. So this story is about finding your own true color, which basically just means finding who you are and accepting who you are for what you are and being happy with yourself. Um, just because I am a stickler for scientifically accurate stuff, chameleons do not change color to whatever that is that they're sitting on. Chameleons, depending on the species, can change a wide variety of colors, but it's usually in the veins of greens, sometimes blues, sometimes oranges, yellows, and reds, but it has to do more with whatever their temperature is. They'll change colors based on temperature and also what mood they're in. The madder they get, the brighter they can become to help ward off animals. So this was a really great book, but chameleons don't just change color to whatever they're sitting on. And our Cuban false chameleon friend seemed to enjoy it because he was looking at it, but probably jealous that he's not actually a chameleon, he's an adult. So I hope you guys had fun and we'll see you next week.